Okay guys, I'm back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it and show you that. I basically just took the fabric, I'm rolling it over in the back so that when I safety pin it again, it takes better. So I'm gonna take another safety pin, another one, bite it open. Please be careful guys with your teeth because these things are sharp. And stick it up and bring it through. That one did catch better. So I got that. That one actually caught a lot. So as you see right now, we have the top of a dress and a whole bunch of fabric. So now I'm going to lay her on her back. Ms. Macho, come on. You can cuddle after. Love him to pieces, but he's in the way. And we're gonna cut to now have a dress. All right, that's the basis of it. It's not, as you see, even, but that's okay because we can cut again. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna take this part of the fabric and I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna connect it to the top piece with another safety pin. Yep, you got it. Today is just safety pinning it on there. And remember guys, I'm trying not to use glue to show you guys how to do this. Plus sometimes without glue, it's just easier to take the, the stuff off, not um, ruin the doll's body. Cause hot glue, dry glue, any spray adhesive, it's hard to get off a doll's body sometimes. Especially if you don't have the right stuff. Okay, pin, and she's in. Now, I want this to be a long dress, but I also want you to be able to see her feet. So I'm gonna lay her down on her, on her back again. I'm gonna cut this off. And now look, she has a very layered dress. I kid you not. She's even got like a train type of thing going on in the back. And I love it. So now I'm gonna take another safety pin. And this time I'm gonna put this up like this. it look at that and guess what it's not perfect and guess what no it's not completely even so we're gonna take this one more time we're gonna wrap this like this we're gonna pull it down And I'm going to safety pin it again. And this should be the last time I have to safety pin it, but we'll see. Almost all photography is done from the front, especially with dolls, so that's why I don't mind having so many pins in the back. Just pin one more time, guys. Look at that. Now, of course, we want to even off the bottom of the dress. So lifting her up like this, while y'all can see, I'm just gonna cut off some of those rougher parts. The parts that make it look really like, ew, like. <sighs> okay. And bam. And bam. And one more bam. Look at that. Look at her. And if she seems like she's too bunched up in the front, guys, just pull, pull this like this. Okay. Matter of fact, we can do something real cute for her. Hold up. We set her down. This excess tablecloth, I don't really need. But if you really want to be cute with it, guys.
if you want to be cute with it. You don't have to do this. It still has Easter grass stuck in it. And just like that, I just made her a belt to help cinch that, cinch that way since it's a very picnicky, gardeny looking dress anyway. Now that the outfit is done, which really didn't take that much time, especially non-sewing, let's work on her hair. So, first things first. No more spare tablecloth. This gotta go. <laughs> I'll keep this, but this gotta go. And actually, I think I just made me a little garbage bag. Good. So, um, this Amaya has long, beautiful hair. I mean, anybody who collects Rainbow knows this. <coughs> I know a couple people who do have this large Amaya doll, and I know a couple who don't. So, if you have this large Amaya doll, then you definitely understand where I'm coming from. And if you don't, now I understand, but if you have Amaya, you know where I'm coming from. So, it doesn't really matter the, you know, size of the doll as far as the texture of the hair. It's the same. So I'm spraying her with my thermal curl spray, curler spray, because it's gonna keep her um, curls intact while I brush her out. So I'm gonna reach over here, get my doll brush, and we are going to comb her hair. Now I can't remember if she came with a braid in her hair or if my stepdaughter did that, but either way, I really live for this doll's hair. And I love for how big she is. I really do. Get some of those kinks out. Yeah, that's right. She does have a braid in her hair. Her earrings should not be all the way up here. So I'm going to make sure to have those earrings showing. Let me just get it out of this tangled up hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on. One thing I love about Amaya, just like Jet, is that they um, have that rainbow hair. Like, I love that. Oh, well, there goes her earring. I'll put it back in. Get out of her hair. Ah! All right. And get away from her neck. All right. Earring's going back in now. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, I'm going to stop this here. I don't know if it's going to post to Instagram, but it'll definitely post on YouTube. Kamikaze Queen, K-A-M-I-K-A-Z-E-E-K-W-E-E-N. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back in a minute to wrap this up.